The member for Dawson. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I'd like to add my congratulations to uh, Sam Stozer on a win in the US Open. The Grand Slam title is well deserved and comes as no surprise as uh, Aussie tennis fans have followed uh, Sam's career closely and have watched this star steadily rising. While this title is a further boost to Sam Stozer's career, it is also another boost to sport across this nation. Uh, it's a reminder to young girls in particular that reaching the heights of uh, this international sport and many other international sports is possible. I'm sure this month we'll see uh, thousands of youngsters picking up a tennis racket, probably for the first time, or just renewing their interest in the sport and helping to develop a more active and healthy future for Australia. It's un unfortunate that my elector of Dawson cannot lay claim to Sam Stozer as a constituent, but I would like to raise a distinctively North Queensland piece of Stozer history. It is a story. Uh, it was a story that was repeated in the Townsville Bulletin uh, the day after Sam's historic uh, U.S. Open win. Uh, ten years ago, Sam Stozer played in the Australian Unity Home Hill International, which is in my electorate. She was playing well and was on a 25-match winning streak, including the Pro Tour North Queensland Series in Cairns. However, the 17-year-old Stozer lost her quarter-final match in Home Hill. Home Hill fan Kate Caswell last week reported that she couldn't remember if Stozer had uh, won or lost the quarter-final, but she remembered the future star standing out with her ability to serve and volley. Uh, of the match, uh, Miss Caswell said, and I quote, the reason I remember her game was because her game was scheduled to be played at 7pm, but there was a cane fire and smoke was wafting across the court, so they had to delay the start. The match was in October 2001, only in the country, only in the Burdekin. Uh, the match was in October 2001, and at this time of year, the Burdekin sugar industry is firing cane fields in preparation for the crush. Uh, it's an impressive sight and an iconic part of North Queensland, although I'm not sure if Sam would have had such fond recollections, uh, given that she may have lost there. But it was certainly a memorable night for Home Hill, and I'm sure young tennis players across the Burdekin, North Queensland, and the rest of Australia will be inspired to follow their dreams in the same way that Sam Stozer has followed hers. So my congratulations for you, Madam Deputy Chair, to Sam Stozer, her family and the team around her that helped bring this honour to our nation. Thank you.